We have uh, diversity data for phytoplankton collected at two stations, Clang and uh, PD, uh, over several months. So what we are trying to do here is to use cluster analysis to see whether there is any pattern in the distribution of uh, these phytoplankton species. So we'll select all the data. Okay, we'll paste it. Okay. In order to differentiate between the the station clang and uh, PD, we will label change the color for clang we can change the color for these rows by using the edit menu and row color slash symbols we'll change it to maybe Rate. Okay, and now we have red color for crimson for P for clang and uh, black for PD samples. So again, and enter the menu, multivariate menu, clustering, classical clustering to ob observe for patterns in the uh, phytoplankton distribution. We'll use the UPGMA algorithm, although there are many uh, different options available. You may find more details and information about which index is suitable for you from the manual. So immediately you can see visually from the colors, you can see that the clang stations sometimes cluster among themselves. Okay, only whereas the PDs will cluster among themselves. If you want to know the strength of your clustering. You, if you want to know the strength of the tree, you can carry out a bootstrap analysis, maybe 1000 times, and compute. And from there, usually anything less than 50, you should collapse it. So here you can see separation at this level and at this level is all above uh, 50%. So the cluster analysis shows, yes, the phytoplankton community makeup seems to be different.